when you were at ABN, you were interviewing people like kind of in the red carpet line. And this is how oh, I remember because I was in that line, not last year, because I refused to go to the awards, but the year before. And it goes out into the parking lot. Mm-hmm. And there's just so many people trying to walk the red carpet. And AVN's trying to like figure it out by giving people different like color coded tickets. So you yeah. go at a different time, but it's still just a f- huge mess. And everyone's outside in the parking lot and it's freezing and they're wearing almost nothing. And there's always those protesters that are right on the street saying like is evil. And I believe that you spoke to some of them. Yeah. I was like, I have to talk to these people. Like what, what is their rationale here? Like how, how could you be against something that it like brings people joy, happiness. And like, it's like, I just couldn't understand it. I was like, you can watch it with your partner. Like if you're single, that can be your thing and your outlet. If you're with a partner, you can share that with them. So I was like, let me go talk to these freaks. Like, what's going on? Are they religious? Like, what's their bent? And I, I remember there was like four people. Uh, one of them was a woman. The rest were guys. And I would talk to each of them like, hey. And the, I think the main reason I went over, because one was like yelling through a megaphone. I was like, if I can distract this guy, it's like the longer I talk to him, the less he's yelling, screaming into this megaphone, like telling everybody that they're going to burn in hell. And I was like, oh, let's, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm from a news source. Like I just made myself sound official. I was like, oh, this is from Compound Media. It's a big deal. Um, like, why are you guys out here? And they're like, oh yeah, you know, these, uh, all these people are going to like burn in hell and snakes are going to go into their crotches. Like the, this guy was going like, he's very descriptive and like very weird. And I was like, wow. And I was like, why are you guys, you know, so why are you protesting? And it eventually came out like uh, most of them, I would say actually all of them ended up um, kind of confessing that they had one point and been not only watchers of, but like obsessed and like overly, overly into, and then they arrived at this place of like doing a 180 of, Oh, now we need to like protest and picket it. And, and I even like, I caught them all, you know, cause I went and spoke to each one and I was like, Oh, you used to be really into like, what kind of you watch and then like they would each describe like the different genres that they really liked and then they would catch themselves like oh but but yeah no uh, i mean i don't know i never really watched any and it's like "Mm, i got you it's like you was there like a common thread did people like like to the people was there a certain kind of most of them watched um yeah a couple of them said pov um like one said like step brother and sister one really liked like snm fetishy stuff Um, so they didn't, they weren't all into the same genre, but they all had in common that they were used to be really into, and I was like, Mm -hmm. wow, that's interesting. You know, um, it's almost like they're like, they protest too much kind of, it's like, well, why don't you, and and the longer you talk to these people, the more you're like, oh, you just need therapy. Like, like you're not going to stop this. This is a whole thing. This is a thing that's happening. You, the four of you are not going to have any effect here. Like just go home, like work on your own issues. Uh, just like find things that bring you joy. It's, and that's the thing as humans, it's always easier to like destroy than, than it is to create. So I think a lot of people, that's why cancel cancel culture is is so prevalent and has been for the last few years people just they see a thing they don't like and they're like well i need to stop this i need to take this down these people need to never work again it's wrong when really it's like it, that's the most selfish thing you can do because it should enter into your mind like oh these stars or this comedian or whoever what per, whatever performer this is it's like other people enjoy them uh, they should get to do that. And you should just because you don't like it doesn't mean that you need to like ruin it for everybody else. So that's why it's like, it's ultimately like such a selfish move to try and like cancel another person or a whole industry, which is, which is booming. I always get that whole like, um, prediction, you know, so we should destroy the entire industry scenario to me is just so laughable because coming from somebody who has a background in addiction, you know, everybody who has listened to my podcast knows I'm super open about the fact that I fought alcoholism for a really long time and I was sober for a long period of time. And then I relapsed and then, um, it took me a while to get, uh, my time back. I have like, uh, I have two, I have two years now. Wait, how long do I have? I I just forgot. I think it's a year. Is it a year and a half or is it two years? Wow. I you forgot. Get you get a chip every month. Well, token. Uh, well, I don't go to meetings anymore because <laughs> I just they keep sending you stuff. 
yeah. <laughs> you have to go and like accept one at a meeting um is it like at the end when you go like you're at an arcade and you have all these tickets and you get to like trade them in for a prize like i think that's how it should be with aa like look i've been clean for two years like i want that big stuffed animal you know well the funny thing is is that you don't people need to take you at your word, right? I mean, the whole program is kind of about honesty. So people can go and totally lie. And I know it happens. There's all kinds of people in the program and they can be like, I've been sober for this many years. And they can like, that can be absolutely not true. And they still get the cake and everybody sings to them. And, mm. But I mean, whatever, that's, you know, more of a personal, it, it, that's more personally damaging than it is to like the group itself. If you're lying to yourself, the only person you're hurting yourself, as I say. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so so when I hear that argument about, you know, I used to be addicted to porn and now I'm not, and so therefore it, it's it's bad and it should be banished for everybody. Well, yeah, I used to be addicted to alcohol. You don't see me protesting outside of the fucking Budweiser brewery and being like, ban all alcohol. Like, I understand as a rational human being that, you know, addiction is something that affects some people and it affects different people differently and, and, and different people have their, whatever their pitfall is for some people, it's, for some people, it's alcohol, some people, it's drugs, some people, it's love, some people, it's food. I yeah, mean, it's so many different things. Like yeah. Multiple cats. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, but that doesn't mean that that specific thing, whatever your addiction latched onto is evil because there's tons of people out there who can enjoy alcohol responsibly. So like, it's not my, I don't have the right to tell other people that they can't consume it simply because I can't consume it. And that's why I see these, these protesters. It's just like, well, I can't have it. So you can't have it either. It's like, come on, dude, grow the f Yeah. Like take it's responsibility your well, for your only, for your own downfalls. Yeah. But don't like push that onto everybody else. Yeah. It's like that. You need to work on you not to sound like, like not insensitive, but like, okay, that's a, like a you problem because like, there's so few of you out here. Clearly it's like, if it were a thing, a lot, like a, a ton more people were protesting or coming out for like, maybe people would take more notice, but it's like the industry does so well that it's just, it's, you're, you're not going to stop it. So you might as well work on yourself. That's, that's going to get you better results sooner 